classmates, today we're gonna discuss all about quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So, let's get started. The solution of any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, can be determined using the quadratic formula. So, yung quadratic formula natin, x equals to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where yung a natin is not equal to 0 to solve any quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 using the quadratic formula determine the values of a, b, and c then substitute this in the equation so we have here example number 1 Find the solution of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x equals 227 using the quadratic formula. So we have here step number 1. Write the equation in the standard form. So in equation natin, 2x squared plus 3x equals 227. If we write down natin siya into standard form, if we get a transform, 27 sa kabila kaya magiging negative 27 siya. So we have now 2x squared plus 3x minus negative 27 is equals to 0. So yung standard form natin, yung equation natin is naka standard form na. So step number 2, determine the values of a, b, and c. So, we have here the values of A is equals to 2. Yung B natin is 3. Yung C natin is negative 27. So, we have here the step number 3. Isa substitute lang natin yung A, B, and C sa ating quadratic formula. So, we have here ang formula natin kanina sa quadratic equation. Negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, substitute lang muna siya natin. Negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 27 all over 2a. So, proceed tayo. x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 multiplies 2 times negative 27 all over 2 times 2. So we have here x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 9. So yung 9 is nakuha do sa 3 squared plus 216 which is nakuha naman siya na multiply natin yung negative 4 times 2 multiplies sa negative 27 all over 4. Then, i-add lang natin yung 9 plus 216, kaya nakuha natin yung 225, all over 4. So, proceed tayo. So, sa ating equation, may dalawa tayong sagot. Yung isa is positive, nasa positive side. Yung kabila naman is na negative, nasa negative side. So, sa positive side, maroon tayo x is equal to negative 3 plus 15, all over 4. Then, sa kabila naman is negative 3 minus 15 all over 4. So, sa kabila, mayroon tayo sagot na x equals to 12 over 4. So, sa kabila naman, mayroon tayong x equals x is equals to negative 18 all over 4. So, yung equation natin is divisible by 2. Kaya, nakuha natin yung negative 9 all over 2. So, meron tayong isang x na x is equals to negative 9 all over 2. So, the equation 2x squared plus 3x is equals to 27 has two solutions. So, we have here ang x na una. Meron tayong x is equals to 3 and x is equals to negative 9 all over 2. So, yun mga classmates. Sana may natutunan kayo sa discussion ko. So, meron tayong home activity. We have three equations for you to answer. Gimitin nyo lang po yung quadratic formula para masagotan po yung equation natin.
and I'm going to teach you how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. But before that, we have to know what is the relationship between square or binomial and perfect square trinomial. So let's have an example. X plus Y squared is equals to. So let's recall how to solve this. So step one is square the first term. So x squared is equals to x squared. And the next step is multiply the first term by the second term. So the first term here is x times y times 2 is equals to 2xy. And last step is square the second term. So y square, y square. So, makikita natin dito na kapag in-expand natin yung square o binomial, ang result niya is perfect square trinomial. So, isa pa. 3x minus 2y squared. So, square the first term. 3, 3 squared is equals to 9x squared. So, next step, multiply the first term and the last term. So, 3x times negative 2y is equals to 6xy times 2 is equals to negative 12xy. Then, square the second term. Negative 2y squared is equals to positive 4y squared. Ano natin magagamit yan? Magagamit natin yan in completing the square to solve the quadratic equation. Lagi nating tatandaan na ginagamit ang completing the square kapag ang equation ay hindi na pwedeng gamitan ng factoring or extracting the square root. So, let's have an example number 1. x squared plus 8x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, mapapansin natin dito na ang 1 ay walang factor na kapag ipinag-add ay mag-result to 8. So, ang gagamitin natin para masolve ang equation na ito ay ang completing the square. So, first step, i-isolate natin yung constant term. So, ang constant term dito ay 1. So, let's rewrite x squared plus 8x. Kapag in-isolate natin yung 1, mag-iiba yung sign niya. So, dito positive yung sign niya, magiging negative 1 siya. Next step, gagawin natin itong perfect square trinomial. So, x squared plus 8x. Maglalagay tayo dito ng space dahil may ipa-plus tayo dito. Plus is equals to negative 1 plus. Kung ano yung ipa-plus natin dito sa kabila, dapat pareho din yung ipa-plus natin sa kabila. Now, paano nga ba natin magagawang perfect square trinomial ito? So, let's say x squared plus 4x. Para magiging perfect trinomial siya, I-divide natin yung middle coefficient by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. 2 squared is equals to 4. So, 4. Apply natin dito. So, ang middle coefficient ay 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So, i-plus din natin dito 16. So, next step. Kapag perfect square trinomial na siya, gagawin natin siyang square of a binomial. So, first step, get the square root of x squared, which is x. Copy the middle sign, so plus. And get the square root of the last term, which is 16. So, square root of 16 is 4. Squared. Equals to... Negative 1 plus 16 is equals to 15. Next step is remove the square. 
So, dito na papasok ang concept ng extracting the square root. So, ganito. Kukunin natin yung square root ng x plus 4 squared, tapos 15. So, makakancel na yung square root. So, the square will be cancelled out. So, ang mga titira na lang is x plus 4 square root of 15. So, since x lang yung kukunin natin, itatranspose natin yung 4 sa kabila. So, x is equals to plus or negative square root of 15 minus 4. So, plus or negative kasi dalawa yung solution. It's either x is equals to positive square root of 15 minus 4 and x is equals to negative square root of 15 minus 4. So, paano naman kung ang leading coefficient ng equation is more than 1 like 2x squared plus 12x plus 6 is equals to 0. So, ang leading coefficient natin dito is 2. I-divide lang natin ang whole equation by 2 para magiging x squared na lang siya. Para maging ganito. Okay? Divide by 2. So, ang magpitira na lang is x squared plus 12 divided by 2 is equals to 6. X plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. Equals to 0. So, after that, magpuproceed na in steps in completing the square. So that's all for now. I hope you understand our topic. Keep safe. Let's have an example. Let's find the factors of 16. So we all know, for us to get the answer of 16, we need to multiply 1 by 16. So 1 times 16 is equals to 16. Also, 2 times 8 is equals to 16. And 4 times 4 is equals to 16. So 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4 are factor of 16. Now, what happens when you have to factor with a variable like x? So, you need to work backward from a multiplication question. Here is an example of multiplication question. 4 times x plus 5. In this question, we need to remember the descriptive property. We take the outside term, which is 4, multiply it in every single term inside the bracket, which is x plus 5. So, let's have first 4 times x adding it by 4 times 5. So, we take the answer 4x plus 20. In a factoring question, we're going to start with this answer and we're going to try to work backwards to get the original question, which is 4 times x plus 5. In our first factoring example, we're going to use a greatest common factor method or GCF. Finding a greatest common factor means looking all of the terms in your questions and dividing them all to the highest number possible. Let's take a look. The same example but to work backwards factor 4x plus 20. Here we need to look the factor of each number. So let's look at the first term 4x. Ignore the x for now. So let's think a factor of 4. We know that 4 can be factored by 2 times 2 and 1 times 4. Let's take a look into 20 now. You can get an answer of 20 by multiplying 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. Now, with this list of numbers, we can put all them in order for us to figure out what is greatest common factor. So 4. 
we have numbers of 1, 2, and 4. For 20, we have numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So looking at the list of numbers, 5, 10, and 20 are not common to both of these sets. And we have 1 and 2 that are common but overall 4 is the highest factor out of all these factors so 4 will be the factor that we'll be using let's go back to the original question 4x plus 20 we know that the common factor will be 4 so we're going to divide each terms by 4 keep in mind that we're working backward to get multiplication that's why we're dividing so, here, dividing 4x by 4, we will get the answer of x. Just cross out the same number. And 20 divided by 4, that is 5. Since we're dividing a positive number, it will be kept as positive sign. To solve this problem, we put the x plus 5 a bracket, then keep that the factor of 4 on the outside term. Remember the similarities in the question and the original multiplication that were given. They are exactly the same. So, that is how factoring works. 